Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now we're going to continue dissecting John chapter 5 verse 10. Now I got to give a little bit of something that comes to me, okay? Alright, I'm going to call this one. There is a famine in the land for the true word of God. That word, that logos, the thought process, the very thought process, the loving righteousness of God. Green with that thing, the loving God, righteousness of God. Exercise your faith. That limited portion, that limited measure of faith, like in uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 through 3, that when it gets down there, the measure of faith, and we put that in all, not just certain ones. Everybody, there's a measure. All the way down there. You gotta activate it. Dedicate yourself to God and keep going. This uh water baptize water baptism will happen. That's you dedicating yourself to God. Okay? Symbolism. Outward show. The public man, the water, the baptism in that bitter vinegar solution. <clears throat> The baptism of the Holy Spirit. And it's with fire. And it's, you know, God's doing it fire. See, baptism, the submergence in this vinegar solution. Each one of your little thought processes in there. And the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest. He's baptizing your thought processes. So that you can give up this thing. Because you can't do it. This thing will whip your butt. Bigger and better, all that stuff is greater than you are. Like Deuteronomy 7 1. All those Ike nations, those imaginations, those big giants in your land, you're like nothing to them. Hmm? But you gotta hog tie that stuff and exercise this limited portion. Germinate it and bah, all the days of your life to get more and more and more of God. God gives the increase. Well done, the good and faithful servant. Flawless victory. Zap! Let there be light. Come into existence. Wah! Exist, exist, exist. <coughs> <coughs> Ran out of air. <coughs> just, <coughs> just a minute. <coughs> Choke myself up. Life addict. Go on. Hold tight. <coughs> okay. Wah! Don't go this way. Yeah, that's your 666 humanistic thinking. 333, three, three, all of it. Yuck. Good and evil. Don't do that. Don't eat from that yucker. Let's call it yucker. Ooh, yuck. Absolute negation. It's absolutely denied by God. Ooh, yuck. Vomit you. Ugh! Out your mouth. You got to do that too. Exercise your faith. Hold tie that bitch. Inside you, that bitch dog. See, in each of us, whether you're a male or female in the natural, huh? You got a bitch, a yapping mutt inside you. Your own ego, your own carnal mindedness, your own um, antichrist thinking. Huh? It's neg the negative of the alpha. The alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the self, coming back to the self-existent one. This thing's trying to take you away from God. It's a dichotomy. Directly opposing ways of viewing. Go God's way. Be reasonable. Sit my way and my child. Hmm? Come up. Don't go down. Come up to God's higher way. Okay? Now, <clears throat> there's a lack or a famine in the land. Now, that's an outward thing. Most people's thinking out of this thing. Very little of true, true trusting in God. Huh? Man-made religion? Good. Condemn you to hell. Bad. Good and evil. Rebelling against it, not having nothing to do with God. Any of this yuck, carnality, non-spiritual thinking... Is, is wrong, wrong, wrong. Don't partake in that. God's given the opportunity with all these storms of life to bring you to 
like splitting this atom, nuclear fission. It's a great release of power. And then nuclear fusion. Oh my goodness, so much greater. And it's like fusing. Now, <clears throat> yeah, I will talk a little bit about that. Give you a little bit more. Maybe I might do that on another one. Okay, because that, that could take a little bit of detail telling you, okay? Let me, maybe I'll get that on another one. Let me see here. Okay, now in this land, it's in your, first of all, it's talking about in your mind, your land, your earthly thinking, this ball, within a ball, within a ball, wheel, within a wheel, within a wheel. Your mind, this ball of your thinking, huh, your Ninevite city, coming down to a single thought process, another universe, and another universe, and all those little balls down in there. God's offering, he's trying to split it. <coughs> That word of God, the thought process is that you're lacking. God's giving you an opportunity to lay this stuff down, hold tight your red, your carnal ways of thinking, and he'll zap it out with his lightning, his happiness, his brightness, his illumination into his ways, teaching you how to love, to gain. He's given the increase into that racham, the ability to love God as he first loved you. And he loves you beyond the mere description of words. That's child. Okay? That's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He's teaching you to speak in the language of God. Not a natural language. Other language. Speaking Russian or Chinese. Mandarin or, or Spanish or... That carnal mindedness is trying to separate you from others. Trying to keep you from loving the Christ in them. No word to love our neighbor as ourselves. Any other person. And love God more than anything. He's increasing that ability. This love over here is worthless. As soon as the hard stuff comes, this thing will turn coats. Turn Benedict Arnold. Huh? We'll stab you in the back. It'll turn treasonous on your ass. Huh? It'll stab you in the back. It'll choose there's some devil stuff out there. Imaginary bullshit. Demon de It's all bullshit. Or it's just undetestable. That's your own car mind. I ain't doing nothing. Huh? It's an interesting you six 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 nature and keep the law in your face. Keep those blinders on your horse, your own strength. Ride that red horse thinking. Go down your city. Huh? Keep you in the scene here and taste that your smell. Your five senses. Controlled by the me, myself, and I, your own ego, which is edging God out. That's your own carnality. It's all saying it's all dung, it's all poop. I count all as dung for winning Christ, right? Ooh, hog tie that tripper, that trickster, I think trying to trip you up so you can't gain these increases, like scoring like a touchdown. Shoestring tackle, this thing's tripping you. And it's tricking you, and it's a thief, a robber, all this stuff. Many different ways to describe that. Different metaphors and analogies to describe this thing is a dummy. It's a dumbass. Hold tight. Hmm? Been telling you. Socking my mouth. Boom, boom. Or be still. No hands, no, no feet, no none of this stuff. Hold tight all. You ain't doing crap. I'm coming up to you, Father God. God will zap this out and transform that garbage. The energy, the spirit in there, oh, up. Transform this limited portion of Christ in there. And it'll be increasing every time. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, remember? I went through many videos showing you how that's working. It's doubling. Bom, 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 bom. This Christ in you is coming back to being in control. It's returning. As you're overcoming, in that speaking of an overcomer, in the clouds, that's in your mind. That's you. That's Christ. You're coming in, getting your true identity, taking your rightful place. 
in God. You're claiming your inheritance from God. You are, I am the God, the self-existent one. I am your exceeding great reward. God, you're claiming that reward. I want this new name stamped in my forehead and in my hand, in my works, in my hand, so I can walk out, live it out. I can take up my bed and walk, live, exist, 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 back into Christ. When the moving of this water's happening, I'm not going this to it, to it, to it. I'll never make it because everybody else will be me. Or some else gets beat me up. These giants, these ites, it's his tight, his right. Terror, violence, huh? This peasant right, huh? Make me trying to do it my own self. This JB said the doo doo don't know you. I'm gonna put you in the back corner. Blah, 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 blah. Letter of the law stuff. If you do this, do that, do that. You gotta do it. You gotta keep you occupied. Instead of going, focus a child of God on God. You're focusing on this bullshit. Hmm? There's a lack in your land, in your mind, of the true word of God. God's fault. God's right, loving righteousness. God is the greatest. It's telling me God is the most of my scientist. It's implying that. But somebody really loves you, so it's double-minded. It's unstable. Which way to go? Which way to go? Where about we go? It's confusing, baffling wind. He's stirring up this sediment. And it's making it dark, opaque, so you can't understand it. And this thing, when it's starting, that first seed is like a one to a negative 35. Huh? Huh? One e to a negative 1 is like 1 tenth. One e to a negative 2 is 1 over 100. Try this 1 and then divide it by 10 35 times. That's one th and that's one thought, your whole mind, one thought process, boom, boom, one little spot in another universe, and then down in there, one little, no wonder, you don't want to trust this at all, if you're relying on this, relying on your 666 nature, you're not seeing, hearing, taste, touching, smell, nothing of God, you got to exercise that, put your faith, you're trusting God. And he'll take care of this stuff. Hog tie this thing. Be obedient to God, not to this. Or not be obedient to God, not to this crap. Hog tie it, says. Hmm. In short, I've been telling you all this stuff. This is to help you. So when you're going through your life and the rubber's beating the road, and so, <laughs> and you're going, I want this, I want that. I'm going to do a good work over here. I'm going to do a bad work, get all I'm all pissed up, I'm fed up with this stuff. Whatever. Good, bad, it's all ugly. It's poopy. If you're partaking of that, you're eating a big poop up dog and thinking that's going to fix it. Lord of the flies, thinking it's not going to fix it. You're riding a big log, like a log plume, a double minded. It's as cold as ice. And I'm floating down this river of Jordan in my life. <laughs> Getting a sore crotch, trying to ride the fence. Good and evil, what's good and evil, good and evil. And you're going right down that thing, descender right towards the big waterfall. Oh no! We're getting calloused down and hard nosed. You can't take God's truth did in that little bit of spot. God's. Be reasonable, say my way. No, 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 no. Are you saying, yeah, and you're eating this stuff? You're going to drop and doing it your own way, like in Jonah. Get swallowed by your big old fish, big old whale, your beast nature. Three days and three nights in the belly of that fish, and you're going, I was in hell forever and ever and ever. Jonah wasn't, was he? Man, you sure gone through some hard times, though. Oh no, it took up the shit out of me. <laughs> Getting the tail and the cares of my worldly thinking. But I'm trying to do a good thing, suppressing it all. Get you at the bottom of that sea, you hog tie that thing and let that fish vomit you up on the beach and then be obedient to God and go to Nineveh. Go to that nasty thing and start 
chopping it out, skimming it out. Well, yeah. And have the greatest revival. Revival. Relive. Do it again. Come back to God. Come home to God. You start in God. You come back to God. You're exercising your faith. You're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. The more you do this. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. This thing's going down. Dream. And God gives that energy. That full fuel. All this poop thinking. This manure in your garden. To grow. Cause this seed to grow. In every little thought process. From the least to the greatest. It's growing. These are permanent increases. All this stuff that seems good, tastes good in your mouth, is just a temporary transitory thing. Though a, li though a man live a thousand years, twice told, two thousand years, doing this poop thing, eating all this stuff, letting all that red stuff just return to the dust from where it came, and the spirit, whatever state it's at, returns to the Father who gave it. It's way beyond this natural stuff. It's like the vacuum is empty space. But it's not empty. It's all kinds of activity. It's very, 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 very compact of all kinds of activity that you can't don't even know about with the red way. Hmm? The natural is showing you this. You really, really want to get right down to it. Yes, sir. Someone, what are we talking about? Go down my log flume here. Jordan River. The cinder right down into my own cesspool, my corner line. There is a famine in the land, in the way you're thinking, in your mind. Man made religious works and all this stuff and doing the pharisaical ways. That's bitter enemies of Jesus Christ and his cause. Jesus, Jesus. I-E-S-O-U-S. -E -S. I had a little brain fart <laughs> spit on that last time, but I was all so I was trying to cover a lot of stuff, okay? And I was about to run out of time and all that junk. Okay. But it's I-E-S-O-U-S. -E That's what they translated for, as Jesus number 2424. And it means Yahweh salvation, not just Jehovah Jehovah. Take out the vowels. Originally they went there. It was just Y H W H. That means immediately. With everything you got, in hot pursuit, follow God. Be emphatic for God. Be a fan. Don't be a fan of this stuff. It's a thief, a robber. He's trying to keep you disconnected. Hating. Thinking you're doing good works, bad works, with a little bit of strings tied to it. Not tell everybody. Just try to get it for me, myself, and I, so I can. Any of this ugly stuff is deceptive. The heart of man, that mankind thinking, is humanistic, six, 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 thinking, and like in Jeremiah seventeen nine, the heart of man is deceitful. It's desperately wicked and evil above all things. Nothing more deceptive. Nothing more out to get you. It's your carnal mindedness. To be carnal minded is death. It's separating you, disconnecting you from the love. And loving others in the deepest, seeing, finding God in there. Not focusing on this bullshit, thinking. If they won't hear it and they keep eating this stuff, just stomp that dust off your feet. All this red stuff and go on. They're not going to hear you. Not your fault. You keep pursuing God. God will take care of this. It'll be what it'll be. If they are stubborn and obstinate like an old mule, you can't make them move by hand, hammering your head. You're just going to get sick yourself, and you're going to be going down that, like attaching yourself to it and going down your own shitter too. Stop it. Come back this way. Go on to God and let them go. Don't mean you have to hate them, but this red stuff, you don't like it. Ooh, yuck, that's detestable. Come to God. This, huh, love your neighbor as yourself. Have you just, you know, the, everything, it's ripe. Everything is coming to, for harvest. Come to God and let God bring it up. Huh? So he can baptize you in the Holy Spirit. It's water baptism, you're just dedicating yourself to God. That's based upon you doing it. But you're kind of flim-flamming in your double-mindedness. But God is faithful. 
God will do it. The Holy Spirit, Holy is sanctifying you. And it's like and, that's Kai. It's cumulated, cumulated, copulating and accumulating. <laughs> copulating you back to the S1 into union with God. And EM, accumulating it, accumulating 1, 2, 4, 8 to the EM and SYM. Da, da, EM. EM with relation to resting God. Ugh. I'll get it out. <laughs> okay? God's bringing you up. So in the land, in your mind, there's two in your land. Red way, your beast way, Antichrist, and Christ way. Agree with Christ. And there's a Germany and 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. God can help you. God will help you. They say it'd be the easy peasy way done. In fact, it's a narrow bean path. You gotta keep trusting God. Not believe it's good and evil stuff. Lay that crap down. Hold tight. Get ready. Emphatic with this thing in you. And don't listen to that bullshit out there. Get the truth of God. So you don't go over this waterfall. Oh no! Pop! <laughs> right into your own cesspool, your own corner mine. Oh no! Not again! Ba, ba, ba. It hurt me bad, and it wasn't my friend. I must be infatuated. Bow, bow, on kind of mind. It stunk a lot, man. Ooh, it was poopy all the time. And I was going down that river, that Jordan River, a piss. Drinking it up. I'm drinking it up. Burn out the down, the down. Dipping in this river. Drinking all of my cup. You're drinking piss. <laughs> You're over six, six, six. Humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. Of all those laws and letter of the law stuff, young carnal mind. What you think's good and evil? And you say, well, I'm not religious. That's still piss. That's rebellion. Huh? Or you say, man, I love God, but you really, it's very conditional. You better make sure you're coming to the truth of God. The sincere milk of the word and it's growing. Greater and greater and greater. Like Jesus said, I, I have meat to eat that you know not of. But you got to get up there to more, for more maturity in the spirit before you can drink that, eat that meat. Or you're going to choke the daylights out of you as a baby. You better come up from the Pation, Technon, Pation. <laughs> Brand for us, gonna be us, Patty on, take nine, we us, back to the uh, pot here. Come from the unborn child all the way up. Don't try to skip nothing. I was getting tied to it. <laughs> Come right on, right? Ugh. Don't go this way here at all. Slap it down. Hmm? And the spirit is near male or female. Hmm? Don't let this thing hold tight to Christ inside you. Take and hold tight so the God will zap that thing out. Okay? Now, I'll probably have to do another one on, like, the nuclear fusion. Well, I'll do that a little later, okay? Uh, that's quite a bit. It sort of takes some... Uh, I'm going to show you some stuff. God's been bringing that out in me for a few days now. Man, oh my goodness. Huh? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm trying to do it in shorter videos, but man, it could be a lot, 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 lot in that. But I'm trying to show you glimpses of it. Okay? When God speaks to you, it's like it blows up to a whole bunch. When I was in a coma and all these other things, going through all this stuff, days of <laughs> can't hardly breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and all kinds of stuff going on. Stuff tearing all this stuff, going through divorces and and going, I mean, getting, uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Way back. Just to get more, they're like, God, it's just, just, uh. don't worry, God causes all things to work together. For good to them that love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for him he did it, for no, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. 
read read and study Romans chapter 8 verse 28 plumb through the end of the chapter that's that whole thing man that's deep I've read it and went over it a little bit with you on this before but oh my goodness you gotta work it out yourself so when you're going through this you got an indication oh my goodness that is crap <coughs> to the God so you're not getting tricked. This thing's a sneaky snake. It's more subtle than any beast in your field. See, there's a lack. There's a famine for the word of God. The logos, the way God thinks in your mind, in your land. This thing's a tricker. That snake is biting you. Come up, let God bring you up higher and higher and higher in every thought process. So this snake can't bite you. It's like, splat. But you're way up here. It ain't even hitting you. You just keep on going. Though uh, my children hear my voice and the voice of that other one, it won't, it won't get you no more. This, you, you're going on. You're exercising. You get stronger and stronger and stronger in the faith. And that's in each and every thought process. Hmm? Down here, you're getting struck and poisoned by this poisonous asp. The snake, this brood of vipers. What did Jesus calling them? You hypocrites! You stage performers! Calling the Pharisees and stuff. Those ones of polystyrene, so I come trying to do all this doo doo ditty stuff. The Jebus, first one to kill that thing from Jebus. Let's talk about it in your mind first. And not taking the poop stuff out from other people. Talking doo doo doo. We're we'll gonna put you in the back corner and condemn you to hell. Or a version of what God is love, and in Him is no darkness at all. God is light. God is love. His love and righteousness, not your own self righteousness, not your own six 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 rules. Huh? Shut that dog up. Don't put on its armor. It'll weigh you down. You won't be able to fight that. Kill that giant, that Goliath. In your own mind, it'll weigh you down. You'll be an easy target. Bang! <coughs> put his hand, giant. In your mind, will put its hand on your head and just slap the crap right out of you. Laugh at you, play games, and stick ste spears to you and just torment you. Hmm? I'll keep going up to God. I'm coming on up. Boom, the pop up. Back into God. I'm not eating of that. Says pull the mole in the hog pen, prodigal son. Hog tight and come back to the father's house. He'll kill fat a calf, have a great party for you. Bop! He'll celebrate. Hmm? Bop! Permanent satisfaction. Bop, Quit going this way. Boom, down. Okay. Now there's a there's a famine in the land in your mind for the true word of God. Boom. The love of God. God's loving righteousness. He's a great one. God is great. Not messed up. Mad scientist. Don't you mean hell? Condemn you? Huh? Read that. I'm just gonna quote it. You can go study it yourself. And, uh, well, maybe I'll just take you there real quick. Man, there's so much here. I can take you all over the place. I'm just going to touch on it. And I'll do some other stuff later, okay, on this other. There is Romans chapter 8, verse 1, okay? There is therefore no now, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. That's Ian, right? Who walk or live not after the flesh, red way of thinking, but after the Spirit. The true Word of God. Not this doo 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 and bad evil crap stuff. Okay, now that N in there. I know it's E-N, but let's go right here. And I'm going to have this look at it right here and have it say it for you. That condemnation is adverse sentence, okay? Let's see. Go to find that. Oh, yeah. And that, they actually translate to them which are in. All of that 
comes from this one word. That's E in seventeen twenty two, this word. Strong's G seventeen twenty two N To them which N. are in Christ. That's E N. That's I N with relation to resting in God. Bow. And hold tight us down. Bow. God take over. Bow, bow. Don't work it out. Those hands are tied. Hold tight. Don't try to live it out. Suppress it and do it your own way. Hold tight that feet. Put a sock in it. Don't try to speak and work it out and suppress and everything. Hold tight that. Be still. Lay prostate and worship and to worship. Like in John chapter 3, verse, I think it's 3 and 20, 23, 24, 25, right in that area. Huh? I think it's John chapter 3. Okay? True worshiper. Hmm. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe. Let me know if these are helpful to you. That's encouraging me. So that you can habitually practice live and receive the help from God while he's teaching you, baptizing you with the Holy Spirit, sanctifying spirit, purifying into the fire, the purification, divine purification of God, the poor. Hmm? Oh my goodness. It's great. He's heating you up. All this inactive state. Still got a seed down in there. Keeping it active. Hit like, subscribe. Give me a testimony of how this great good news, God is the greatest, is helping.